Hello, hello. All right, we have got a beta update for the Remarkable Paper Pro. Here it is, beta 3.19, extra bright. What's new in the beta? Light boost, display settings has a new toggle for stronger brightness levels. Just note, this will affect battery life. Grid size, you can now choose to preview your content with small, medium or large thumbnails and settings layout. We've made cloud, display and help their own sections to make settings more intuitive. So let's do settings first because it's right here. Let's go back. So here is what they have actually changed. And let me just, I didn't check this before I signed on. Uh, well, before I started recording, I'll just see if it's the same in, yeah, yeah, this one's already been updated. I was going to show you a comparison, but that's okay. Don't worry about that. We'll do doing that shortly. So here you can see version 3.19.057. Um, that's the current beta version that we're doing right now. All right, so... Cloud, display, and help have their own sections. Cloud, display, and help have their own sections. When we go into help, there's the compliance statements. So they're all the governing bodies. I'll show you that one. You can see these are all the compliance statements. Um, I won't go into copyrights and licenses. Anyway, down the bottom is where your password is, and that's how you connect your device to other apps. And then this is the universal, what is it called? Coordinated universal time. So this is not my time of day, but this is the time, the Greenwich mean time. I will put up, I'll show you what Greenwich mean time used to be, is now coordinated universal time. So I'll show you that on the screen. So here you can see coordinated universal time is used as the official world reference for time. Coordinated universal time replaced the use of Greenwich mean time in 1972. So it's really just the same thing as Greenwich mean time. It is that world standard time around the world. You can see it there, universal. It's the universal time by which we compare all other time zones and that's really important you don't change this so this is not your time and date so don't think that you need to update this to your time and date you do not do not do that because you will not be able to update software in sync with the cloud if you change this this has to stay the same so there's help the cloud Cloud connection checks if your remarkable is syncing properly. So that's now in its own box. And what was the other one? Was it display? So now this is in its own section. Visible content show your open document or overview when in standby. Let me just go back to general. Display settings has a new toggle. That's This is a toggle here, you know, on off like a light switch. For stronger brightness levels. Just note this will affect battery life. So back here in display you saw it down here so if i turn that on now strong reading light levels drain the battery faster than normal the colors of your notebooks and documents may appear less saturated so they've obviously done a bit of a trade-off to get extra brightness because that's probably feedback that they receive at the moment uh oh, let's just go back into the address book and let me you know how you can pull down from the side here brightness is it's, uh, I'm in a, quite a bright room. So, anyway, we'll take their word for it. It's brighter. I love the light already, so I'm actually a happy chappy with the light. Um, but yes, more brightness is always a good thing. So there's that. Grid size, you can now choose to preview, sorry, let me just move that up, your content with small, medium or large thumbnails. So let me just see, if you see how you can't close in here, you have to go back. 
Right, so grid view. All right, so um, I normally store by alphabetical. All right, so large grid, you see how the icons become much bigger, medium grid, then small grid. And if you want to use list, you can. I personally need a visual, so I'm going to go small grid because I like to see everything. Um, and I like to do alphabetical. You know you can tap it again and it will put it in the reverse order Z to A rather than A to Z. Um, and I, my naming conventions are such, this is why I use alphabetical because I actually even number things so that I can get them in the order and they're in exactly the same place every time I open my folder so that I'm not trying to work out what I've got and having to get my brain around it every time. It just saves me some time. Um, but while we're here, let's just have a look at this long press for quick sheet. So long press here on the plus and it directly opens a quick sheet. No settings. You don't have to type any, uh, write anything or type anything. No name and all of that. You can just start writing. In a quick sheet. Now, let's have a look at one more thing. Um, if I go down to notebook settings, you can see it's page 505. This is the thing with quick sheets. It's a continual document, right? It's the only one on your Remarkable like this. It's a continual document. So if I go to the grid view, you can see I've got other pages in here. This is the page I just wrote on and then we've got all of those. So wherever this document is, that is where you will find it. Now, in here, unfortunately, uh, one of the things I put on my wish list in a previous video I just did is I would love some more metadata. So when you go to notebook settings, you've got in here some, some metadata. What wouldn't it be great if the folder that it was in, the, you know, the path, you know, it's called breadcrumbs, the path from home to work to, you know, to YouTube, whatever the, whatever the folders are would be great if that was in here too because that's another quick way you could to locate your quick sheets. What you can do if you don't know where your quick sheet document is, you can come in here. Uh, sorry, not in here. You can go to search. You can type in quick sheets. There it is. You can see it's in my files, work, 04 YouTube, 02 YouTube, wholehearted me. Done and done. Um, so... That's what I would love to see in the metadata on each notebook because it would make it would make it a lot easier. It would just be quicker to find stuff. Just so you know, so that's now you can just it's it's one less keystroke, right? Instead of going plus and then going quick sheet, now you're just press and holding, and it's going to take me back into that document. See, it says page six of six. Can you see that? Oh, where'd it go? Well, page six of six yeah so because we were just in there and there was five and now there's six that's the new page there okay so that's just extra <laughs> that's not what we're doing today but that's just extra so there we go that's the beta update what you've got to look forward to if you're not a beta subscriber you you'll more than likely get this or the better version of this because they use all the feedback to update it and change it so you get a light boost you can alter the size of the grid now the icons on the grid and you can see that the um this has it been expanded somewhat because there was a lot of these all wrapped up in a couple of areas i think there was four i think there was four um menu items and now there's one two three four five six seven yeah all right that's um that's this uh, that's everything for this. So this is version beta, just so you can see it, beta three nineteen. All right, I hope that helps. Any love on the channel would be great. Bye.